Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com, coming to you from the Campbell's Custom Care Studio. Welcome back to Motorhead Garage, presented by DragonFireTools.com. Now, if you're looking for an affordable and easy way to upgrade your vehicle or protect it, Bedliner material is fantastic, and there's a lot of bedliners to choose from out there, but aftermarket armor is different. What sets it apart from other things I'll find on the market? So what sets this apart is application. You have a four hour pot life, which is twice as long as anybody else's. So uh, once you've mixed it and you get it in the pot on your sprayer, it's, it's gonna be there for four hours. Yeah, correct. And the other thing is too, is the many different textures. You can get anything from mild to wild, heavy texture to light texture. Well, here's a great, uh, we'll, we'll look at the Jeep here in a second, but check this out. They brought this in as a demo here. Now, what are the different surfaces here on this, on this toy truck? What this shows you is a high metallic gold color with the gold tenable bed liner. Then you have a light surface here where you can go on wheel flares, something you want kind of like a light texture. It's like a, a metal flake look to it. Correct. Very cool, and, and all that with the same product. Absolutely. Which is very cool. So let's, let's talk about aftermarket armor here. How many different colors are we talking? Anybody that has a solvent borne base coat line, you can add any other colors in there. As long as it's solvent borne, it can go into the tenable bed liner and you can create whatever you want. So just like painting, you can do Absolutely. Uh, the other thing is too, is some guys want to highlight maybe wheel flares or the insides of their wheels. You can do it with that, the same red on the black. It's a great contrast. And let's talk about uh, the different kinds of finishes you can get here. Uh, you brought in, a, this is what the, the base fender would look like or the yep. stock fender would look like here. So what am I looking at here? So basically if you bought a wheel flare and you wanted to add it to your vehicle, it's gonna come in this raw plastic. You would put a sealer or primer on it, base it, you could clear coat it. This emulates also if it was a factory clear coat, factory finish, and then you can tint our color. You can see due to the fact that it's texture, it looks very close to the base coat if not exact. Obviously it's not gonna be a shiny clear because it's a texture coat, but you can get any of the colors that you want. So this blue is on a lot of the newer Chevy or Ford trucks. You can see it, it's right there. And it looks fantastic. Let's talk about the Jeep now. now from stem to stern here, of course we have the metal here on the bull bar on the mm -hmm. front. What's it like to apply aftermarket armor to, to, to metal, to steel? Very user friendly. We supply a shoots gun in there. We also have an adjustable shoots gun. So if you wanted the different textures, not as fine as that, that can come out of your regular spray gun, but you can get pretty fine, as we will see on some of the Jeep parts. That way it kind of differentiates if you were to do a whole vehicle like we did here. And then the fender flares, we saw, saw how those work. And you're using the same line of products Absolutely. to get a different finish, so you're getting that nice matte finish there on the fender flares. Uh, and then moving back, uh, you, you of course did the mirrors the same as you did the fender flares. The wheels, uh, a different material altogether. So that's very user friendly too. A lot of it, as it goes, is in the prep work. So you want to scuff it, you want to apply a light adhesion promoter, they were aluminum, and then you put the uh, bed liner right on top of it, or the aftermarket armor. And this will blow you away. Look at the interior of this Jeep. You guys even did some of the dash yes. with the same line of product from aftermarket armor. And again, how is that applied? So that's very user friendly. Uh, it can come into out of a spray gun, or we can sell it in aerosols. So it definitely can spruce up your vehicle. Uh, this vehicle was a little rough when it came in. Now we went stem to stern with it and made it look pretty much brand new. Is this something folks can do themselves at home? Absolutely, yes. And, and how are you making it easy for them? There's different applications. Obviously what we're using on this was air application, but you can roll it on and get the same uh, application or look. And you, in the interior, if you got aerosols, you can put it in aerosols or it's sold in aerosols and you can buy it that way. Now what comes in the kit for the do-it-yourselfer? So the kit comes with four quarts of the bed liner, a quart of uh, activator, a cup, and the chutes gun. So you have everything there covered. Um, we do have a kit that has a roller. They're also working on kits that may come with a tint to get maybe a gray texture. Some plastics are gray textured. Um, we're looking into that. But right now, this is four quarts, uh, a quart of activator, a cup, shoots gun, everything to get your bed or a Jeep like this done. You address the durability, the UV protection. The third question people want to know, where's it made? Made in the USA. Everything made in the USA. 100%. Fantastic. Well, like I said, this is an affordable way to make your vehicle look great. It's a great way to protect it as well and to protect any surface. Aftermarketarmor.com is the place to find it. You can also find it at dealers all across the country. 
We'll be right back with more Motorhead Garage presented by DragonFireTools.com. So keep it locked here. Oh, by the way, Motorhead of the Week coming up.